Hey guys, I'm going to be telling you about pufferfish. There are more than 120 species of pufferfish. These living balloons have prickly skin, unlike their close friend, the porcupine fish, that has sharp spines. The bodies of puffers are scaleless. They only have a single dorsal fin on the back of their body. No pelvic fins. No spines. This allows them to inflate more easily. Puffers inflate as a defense mechanism. They can inhale air or water to inflate. In order to do this, they close a valve at the intestinal end of their stomach before they start to gulp water or air. Then there is another valve on the stomach entrance that can trap the water inside. However, this is not their only defense. Many of these species are poisonous. Some can secrete skin toxins that make them unpalatable to predators. The poison is called tetradoxin, and a lot of puffers can accumulate it in their bodies. It's one of the most powerful neurotoxins known. The puffers don't actually produce it. It is produced by bacteria living inside the puffers. This is why puffers in captivity are never toxic until they are fed a wild toxin-producing fish. They are able to concentrate the toxin in their skin, liver, intestine, and gonads. Their poison can affect other fish, mammals, crustaceans, and insects. Even one milligram of their poisonous substance is deadly to us. It has up to 1,200 times more poison than cyanide. There is enough poison in one pufferfish to kill 30 adult humans. Side effects may include tingling, numbness, and eventual muscle paralysis. When poisoned, the victim may remain conscious without being able to move or breathe, and death can occur in as little as 70 minutes. The only treatment is artificial respiration until the effects wear off. These fish can range from 3 inches to almost 3 feet. They have powerful jaws and sharp beaks with teeth that are fused together. They can crunch through even the toughest prey, including snails, urchin, and coral. And they can easily bite your finger off. So never waggle your finger in front of their mouth. With that said, most species are weak swimmers, but there's no hiding from them. Sometimes they blow a jet of water at the bottom to uncover buried prey. As poisonous and dangerous as they are, of course some people still want to eat them. They are delicacies in Japan. Licensed specialized chefs are trained to properly prepare them. Even with that considered, with all the terrifying adaptations pufferfish possess, very few are considered endangered.